couple things about the devices. This is uh, Xperia Arc, which is the big sort of 4.2 inch screen. One of the things that jumps out right away is just how thin it is and where it gets its name. See, there's a nice arc and very, very thin right in the middle point, mm. right? Um, part of what makes this unique is it runs on Android 2.3. So that's one of the things that we're doing for both these devices is launching on the latest Android version. In addition, uh, this brings out a lot of Sony-ness. So a couple of key Sony pieces of technology in here are XMAR R, R sensor for low light uh, capture, as well as Bravia mobile engine in terms of the image quality, contrast, enhancement, and less noise. So those are the ways that we're bringing out the Sony side of the house, combining with the latest in Android. And when you look at Xperia Play, obviously we're bringing out the PlayStation side of it. So these two devices help tell the latest in Android, combined with the latest in Sony, and then we wrap it into some nice beautiful hardware and some unique software as well. So that's what connects all these devices. Uh, with that, I'm going to hand it over to Mr. Dutton, who can do the actual detail on each one. So for the Arc, you can see right away um, the actual design. Uh, we're positioning this as the ultimate multimedia smartphone. Right away, 4.2 inch screen, uh, 854 by 480 high res, 8.7 millimeters thin, I like that, in its slimmest portion. Um, as Peter alluded to, um, really we've injected the, uh, some key Sony core technology, right? This is not new technology, this is technology that's proven. For example, the Mo Mobile Bravia engine um, used in the Sony TVs today. Um, brightness, color filter, a true reality display. So what you see is what you get real life, not just superimposed brightness. Compliment to complement the actual screen technology, um, we've incorporated what's known as a no air gap display. So the actual mineral glass is placed on the device, uh, Howard, giving you that uh, uh, crisp view, uh, image quality, even in, in bright sunlight. So if you go outside today, uh, you, you will see no reflection, right? So you can see the actual glasses placed right on the device. So in sunlight, minimal reflection. Complement that with the Exmor R engine from a, from a Sony digital imaging perspective. This is the same sensor that's used in the CyberShot cameras, the high-end HD uh, cameras that, uh, um, that are industry leading. Uh, quickly, and I'd like to give you a quick demo, um, Again, I, I talked upon uh, the 720, I talked about HD. Uh, with Rogers, we'll ship an HDMI cable in the box. Um, and this is the cable that's included. Very quick, easy to, to use. Stick the actual cable in the HDMI slot. This will trigger and wake up the TV. And every, this becomes now your mobile hub, right? So as we move into smartphone era, uh, as we move into 8 megapixel camera, as we move into a 4 inch screen, this becomes um, side by side uh, uh, your, your daily life companion. So you can see here, everything on the screen is, on your actual smartphone screen, is replicated on the actual TV, just the, with the simple HDMI connections. So if I choose to go into my gallery here, let's show you some of the, some footage, I'm just give you an idea. So that's, that's live and full direct. You can see here I've made a little uh, folder with my games. Um, and this is, we showed this at, at CES on a 70 inch TV. And uh, no pun intended, all oh, the people flocked to us. I mean, playing Angry Birds from your phone on a 70 inch screen was phenomenal. So. Um, just unique, a lot of things that HDMI bring to the table that, uh, that, that truly make your mobile phone your, your main destination and portray that on a, on a, on a bigger uh, flat screen TV. So uh, on top of that, some uniqueness that I'd like to share with you um, from a Sony Ericsson perspective. Um, you can see just the, the pinch to zoom. So I just quickly pinched on the main screen. You can see all the widgets array, uh, nicely organized in one screen. So if I choose just to go to my music, right away you can uh, play your music. Very simple. You can change that to do a quick Google search and to search for whatever you want. So that, that's key to, we really wanted to make it uh, very simple, easy to use. Um, from a design language, fits perfectly in your hands. 117 grams light, 
And this is really an evolution of the X10. We really make it more of an enriched story with that unique Sony, unique uh, key technologies in the Bra mobile Bravia engine and the Exmor R sensor, all on the latest Android 2.3 platform. And from a design perspective, this is a part of our DNA now. This slim, um, beautiful design fits perfectly in your hands. So that's the, that's the Sony Ericsson Xperia Arc um, coming in spring to Rogers. And we're, um, we're very, very excited about it. So you see Sony Ericsson is going to try to try to be faster at updates. So uh, Yeah, the, one of the, the key differences with this is this is Timescape, and it's a widget. Yeah. And we don't have Mediascape, but we still have these widgets as well for media. Part of the way the software has been designed now is to allow for more timely releases on the latest OS upgrade. Mm -hmm. So that's a big change in our development path, so that we can be always on the latest OS. So what's the goal for when Google releases a, a, a like say they let's say they release 2.4? Mm -hmm. So what what what's the hope that that you'll have a new version for it? It's hard to say by weeks, but the intent is that we are, if not the first one of the first to market. This is, with uh, uh, the next uh, device we'll introduce you today is the Sony Ericsson Xperia Play. So this is the long anticipated wait. So smartphone first. So everything you saw on the Arc from a smartphone perspective is going to be delivered uh, on the Play in the sense that for a four inch screen, you're going to have a five megapixel camera, you're going to have front facing VGA, you're going to have the pinch to zoom functionality. Um, an optimal, optimal smartphone experience. So um, no compromises. When we talk about this being um, uh, the ability to play games, you're not sacrificing anything. So it's everything you possibly need in a smartphone plus that one thing you really want, and that's that immersive gaming experience. So Howard, at the, you slide open the device, and it's now a totally immersive gaming experience. This is the world's first PlayStation certified smartphone. So what I mean by that, right away you can see the iconography, you can see the D-pad, you can see the PlayStation icons in the sense that the triangle, the square, the X and the, and the O, analog controls for those games like Star Battalion, you want that true immersive experience, full control of your spaceship, 360 um, swirling up and down. On top of that, you have in the back here, the left and right. These are called our shoulder keys. So a full immersive gaming experience, no longer the need for touch. You can see here the PlayStation certified logo. Um, out of the box, I mean, gaming is universal, expands across different genres. We wanted to deliver an experience out of the box that was optimal. We'll have six preloaded games um, in the device uh, on the eight gigabyte um, memory card. Um, games such as premium games that are optimized for the play like Bruce Lee, Dragon Warrior, FIFA 10, Star Battalion. We'll even include games like um, Crash Bandicoot from PlayStation. Who doesn't love Crash? So those will be um, here on this Xperia Play launcher and all your PlayStation optimized games um, will be on this uh, Xperia Play Games um, button here. Once you hit more games, on top of that, uh, we have great partnerships already with uh, key publishers like Gameloft, EA, EA um, Digital Chocolate, um, Glue. So at launch, we're going to have 50 premium optimized games for play. Uh, we'll be able to release that list shortly, but games such as Dungeon Defender, Second Wave, um, uh, a game optimized and will be first to launch with the actual play is uh, Backstab from Gameloft. Uh, we'll have time to market and that just gives you an idea of, of how the developers are embracing this platform. We'll have time to market a great uh, game uh, exclusive for the play for a few months. Um, obviously our affiliation with, uh, with Rogers, if you go to um, uh, the next screen swipe over, um, you can see Rogers also you will have their own home front and you can get uh, games that way. So um, three unique ways. Marketplace, over 150,000 apps, a ton of games. You work, we work with our key publishers in delivering those top, top um, hardcore um, industry leading games. And as well, um, you have some PlayStation classics that are available, um, also games available in the Rogers site. 
So definitely smartphone first. I mean, this is a full-fledged smartphone. It's not a toy. Um, I went into the, the nitty gritties in terms of uh, the five megapixel, the four inch screen, 854 by 480 resolution, the front facing VGA camera. You have unique um, pinch, to, pinch to zoom um, functionality and um, optimize all your, um, your Google apps, uh, whether it be the Google Voice, whether it be um, the Maps, um, the latest 5.0 with 3D. Um, you have all of that at your fingertips and as soon as you slide open, it's game on. A totally immersive gaming experience and this is what's really going to differentiate from our, from, from our com competitors in the sense no need to touch the screen anymore. You have that full immersive gaming experience. Just let me give you an idea. Seeing is believing. Uh, I just want to highlight one spe specific game. Um, this is Bruce Lee Dragon Warrior. Um, so Bruce Lee being legendary. Um, this is now, let's see if we can take on Brick Davis here and see how I do. So again, full use of the, the D-pad. You can do combination moves. Oops. <laughs> Come on, Bruce. And this is where, I mean, the true immersive gaming experience comes into play. I mean, you got 60 frames per second. You can see very smooth graphics, very responsive touchpad. Um, full combinations. I lost, but <laughs> keep practicing, right? Gaming is addictive. So this is an example of the overall uh, um, immersive gaming experience. No need to touch the, the screen anymore and avoid smudges. And I mean, combination combination keys is, is, is key here. You can press multiple buttons for those strong moves. I mean, here's another example of a game, Star Battalion. So now this, you can go typically multiplayer mode, um, play against um, uh, online or against uh, your friends over uh, different websites. You can see the actual volume on the actual device. Um, the speaker quality is, is amazing. Yeah, I'm pressing the shoulder keys now. You have that manipulation of having that extra control. And you can also use the analog buttons to man maneuver the, the device. And that's it. So a very uh, ton of games available, 50 at launch. Um, some of our key partners, uh, we're really going to uh, work closely with them to deliver the latest and greatest as we realize that uh, content is king. And um, smartphone first and slide open the device and open to a totally new gaming experience. Yeah, so both, both the Arc and the uh, Play will be, able, uh, will be available at uh, Rogers Spring. Um, Are they going to launch at the same time? Very close, if not the same time. And, Which uh, one's coming first? They're both coming at the same time. Oh, okay. So, so uh, uh, a great one-two punch. We, uh, the Arc being the ultimate multimedia smartphone, and again, the Play, the, all the latest and greatest in terms of uh, your smartphone functionality. But again, that big uh, added leverage of you slide open the device and it opens a whole new world of gaming. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thanks, Neil.